Gas falling below $2 is something a lot of drivers are excited to see, especially drivers who rack up a lot of miles on the road. Tennis reporter Joe Hinky live in Midtown to tell us why it's coming at just the right time for one Tulsa business. Joe? Well, Karen, the holidays are here, which means many people are having food delivered for their parties or boxes and boxes of gifts. We're here at Tony's Flowers Floral Arrangements, but behind each one of those delivery trucks out on the roads like these is a need for gallons and gallons of gas. As the phone rings in the front of the store. Tony's Flowers, this is Derek. How can I help you? Joe is in the back of the shop. You want that delivered today or tomorrow? Organizing his next bunch of deliveries before he hits the road. Just everybody on Facebook this morning was posting all about it. It was all you could see is everybody talking about the, the gas at $1.99. Given how many miles Joe will drive during the holidays, he says the low price comes at the right time. Between all the poinsettias and parties and uh, Christmas gifts people send to people, it's, it's very busy. Back at Tony's Flowers, Tony herself prepares another delivery. Uh, we probably right now are probably doing around 75 to 100 deliveries a day. Which she says adds up at the pump. One year ago today, on average, it cost Joe and the other delivery drivers at Tony's $2.85 a gallon for gas. Altogether to fill up their vehicles, it ran them more than $68. Now, one year later, gas is under $1.99 a gallon. It only costs them $48 to fill up their vehicles, a savings of $20 every time they head to the pump. Between four trucks, it's kind of, it kind of helps. And as he drops off his next delivery. Well, thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Joe hopes the price stays low, at least through the holidays. I also talked to several other businesses in Tulsa today that offer delivery services. Everyone I talked to excited about the low gas price, but they did add if it continues to drop, they hope it doesn't hurt the economy and eventually their businesses. Live in Midtown tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News, works for you.